Hey 600 here and today we're taking a look at Namco's Dead Heat. First we're going to do a quick overview of the cabs, which are very bright, have neon lights and flashes, very attractive. Then we're going to take a look at the gameplay. Now one thing about the gameplay, the audio that was originally recorded is way too low so you can barely hear me. So I'm just going to cover a few key points about the game and just let it roll. So here are the cars you can choose from. You have a keypad on the cabinet where you can punch, punch in a code so you can save your car, which ends up only being cosmetic stuff. Everything you earn from repeating races and racing that you add to your car, all your upgrades, are cosmetic only. Also, the game only has four stages. That's it. No mirror stages, nothing else extra. And now, as you see here where it says don't worry about getting hit, that's because it's almost like bumper cars. There is drifting, the graphics are great, the frame rate's awesome, but you see as you play the game, there's not too much to it. And as you race, you'll always notice that if you're racing against a computer, there always seems to be a bunch of computer cars around you no matter how well you do to kind of create that quote unquote dead heat. So overall, just a very generic game, very generic arcade racer. The drifting is nice, it's a nice touch. The graphics are nice, there's some, especially on the San Francisco stage, some stuff where you're flying through the air over jumps. At first it feels almost like a slight mix of OutRun 2 and San Francisco Rush, but as you play it more, you begin to realize that there's really no depth to it at all. It's lacking in stages, it's lacking in being able to upgrade and alter your car so that the performance is impacted, and it's just lacking. Looks great, very pretty, like the rain and the snow in the New York stage, but still nothing special. So you might hear me in and out as the video continues. My voice is probably very quiet. I basically just nailed all the key points right there that I was trying to make in the video. Next time I'll be sure to check the audio before I start recording. So sit back and just enjoy some quick glimpses at the rest of the three stages. Thanks for watching.